G'day all. Um, just going to be talking about the Parrot Mini Drone today. Uh, this one's specifically called the Mars Cargo um, because it's got your little Lego brick, brick spots where you can put stuff on. Bit of fun. Um, so this drone is a little Bluetooth drone. Um, the reason I like it is because very sturdy. It will survive just about any grade, any student you throw at it or who throws it and um, it's got a few funky um, features that uh, you can use on it as well um, first things first obviously quad drone got your four propellers you can talk about aerodynamics and and uh, flight with that ground effect that sort of thing um, on the bottom here we've got our little sound a sonic sensor so that tells you the height of the drone above the ground that sends out little clicks. You can hear it when it's on. So, you know, you can use that in physics or or um, acoustics, that kind of thing. You've got your little camera there. I think it's about a little two pix megapixel camera. doesn't take footage, just photos. But that's good for an introduction to um, photography via drone. Um, apart from that, got your battery on the back here. Um, you'd probably get about seven minutes worth of flight out of one charge uh, out of one of these batteries charging times about 20 25 minutes you can actually get uh, multi battery charging packs so I think that charge up to five batteries at a time so if you run out of battery power you pull out one battery put in a new one and off you go again um, or you can charge it via your USB um, yeah, Samsung or, or um, um, Android charger on the back there. Little light there shines red while it's charging, green once it's charged. Again, about 20 minutes to charge. Um, at the front, we've got our little lights. Uh, orange lights tells you that it's not hooked up to anything. So this connects via Bluetooth. Green when it is connected to something. Now, this drone can work off of the Parrot app, which is called Free Flight 3, and it just gives you a little remote control which you can press and use yourself. But I found the best app for this is Tinker. This app here called Tinker, which is only available on Apple at the moment, um, but is fantastic. Um, Tinker is a much broader app. It actually is a programming app that... Um, lets you access lots of projects, for example, the Hour of Code, a few different you know, blank templates for your more advanced classes, beginner projects, which you could really do for, um, you know, even reception would probably be able to do that. Um, and you can also connect a lot of devices. So a lot of these you've probably seen around before. And of course, your Parrot drone. So specifically, it connects to Parrot um, drones and, um, and vehicles. Uh, the program I like to use here is the, the drones one, and it comes with six different projects. So again, your beginner's project, um, free flight, which is your more advanced, choose what you want to do. Droney, so that's a great one. You can take a selfie with a drone. I know, right? Um, and air controller, that's like your regular um, hand controller but you can also program the buttons if you want. And then a couple of little projects on the side for different types of drones for your, your grabber drones. Um, and what you can do is you can actually program your, this drone to do different things. So for example, we've got the cargo drone here, and now the lights on the front are green, it means it's connected up. So obviously you need Bluetooth on. You can go through the tutorials, I'm gonna skip. Um, and what you have here, are all your different commands you can use for it um, to control your drone all the way down to for example uh, functions here if you want to get really technical um, down to even you know different um, different physics applications so again these all apply to the to the programming side of it all you can make pretty advanced games and programs out of this software um, so I'll make up a quick little program and show you the drone in action. Okay, so here's a short little code that I've set up. Um, when I press this start button down the bottom, it will take off, set the 
um, speed to 50%, so that means the propeller speed. It will move forward for two seconds, turn right 90 degrees, flip forward. It will move backward for one second, take a picture. Um, the laptop will then download that picture from the drone and then the drone will land. So hopefully all things considered, it should do that. When you first do it, make sure you've got plenty of room um, to avoid crashing into things. Um, so here we go. Takes off. Forward. Right. Flips. Hopefully I'll take a photo of my hand. Then forward. Retrieving the photo, I'd imagine. And wait for it. Still retrieving photo, I'd imagine. Okay, and it lands. So let's go see if it got my photo. Um, And yep, sure enough. Nope, that was one it took earlier. So it might have had a bit of trouble uh, downloading the photo there. But generally, this is one I prepared earlier. It takes a photo, uploads it to the um, iPad. So yeah, just a little bit of a demonstration of what the um, Parrot drone can do. Funky little tool. And uh, does a few cool little things.